This is the birthplace of the internet. Let's enter this very special place. The deepest of all questions that comes in the film, uh, does the internet dream of itself? That machine over there is the first piece of internet equipment, and it was from here that the first message was sent. A revolution began. The explosion of information technology on the internet has led to some of its greatest glories. Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX, is pursuing how we would talk to colonies on Mars via the internet. Elon Musk, I must say I like him. He uh, is not at all the kind of media figure that uh, for example, Stephen Jobs was his more hermetic, taciturn, deep thinking. He's not just a dreamer, he has practical things. I mean, right now, we can't even get one person to Mars, so clearly... I would come along. I wouldn't have a problem. I would love to go on the first mission to Mars as long as I have a camera on me. As long as I, via an interstellar or interplanetary internet, I can beam my images down to planet Earth instantly. And I said to Elon Musk, even if it were a one-way ticket, yes, I would do it because I'm so curious. In the forest, we met a modern-day hermit. I became very ill from wireless radiation signals. As soon as I heard there was a place with no cell towers, I was here in 48 hours. You're speaking to someone who made his first phone call at age 17. Inconceivable for young people today. And for cultural reasons, I'm not nostalgic, for cultural reasons, I do not want to have a cell phone. I do not want to be available all the time. I do not want to examine the world through applications on my, on my cell phone. i rather go out and look around. I like to sometimes essential things I would do traveling on foot. Or if I'm in conversation, I'd like to be with somebody like you face to face. The internet is a manifestation of evil itself. It's strange that people ask the questions about whether the internet was good or evil. It doesn't have qualities per se. Human beings have qualities. They are good or they are evil those who use it. The internet, of course, has some qualities. It has, uh, for example, a measurable speed. Uh, it is vulnerable or it is robust uh, and things like that. But good or evil would be silly to ask, uh, do you find electricity good or bad? It doesn't have, electricity have, doesn't have qualities unless you're sitting in an electric chair, then you may recalibrate your opinion. We're going to have a revolution in our definition of what it means to be human. Will our children's children's children need the companionship of humans? Or will they have evolved in a world where that's not important? You could essentially, in the not too distant future, tweet thoughts. The big question is, do we need humans as company or do we not? Is there a world possible where we live only with the internet as an echo and with uh, fluffy robots as our companions? Could this team beat the real Brazilian football team? That is the goal, to have a team of soccer playing robots defeat the FIFA world champion. Why do I think I was the right one to do this film? I think I'm very, very curious, and I'm somebody who still reads a lot. And I advise uh, for critical thinking, for conceptual thinking. Will there ever be an artificial intelligent machine that makes movies? Absolutely, yes. Will it be quite as good as yours? No one can, can even come of close. Of course not. And because of that, I do believe that not only was I the best choice, I was the only choice. Have the monks stopped meditating? They all seem to be tweeting. <laughs>